Okay, so before we get in this, um, probably something I may start doing, pro more so only if I get requests for the premium mods or if it's something I think I might end up using in my own game. Um, is as I'll probably start having a look at some premium mods, but I'm not sure on that yet. Only as is if I get requests or if I'm going to use it or if it's cheap enough and still if I do think it's useful. Anyway, uh, so this is Rockwell's Experimental Treats. So it is a premium mod and it comes in at about $3. Not bad for what you get. Now, I will uh, say a couple of things at the end about how this could be improved, and if it does get improved like this in the future, it will make it even more worth it. So, what you get is f uh, four new treats and two new uh, resources, I suppose you'd count them as. So, you get this book. You unlock this at level... Well, you can unlock it at level one. Pretty easy to craft. So you can craft the treats in either a normal cooker or an industrial one. You just go here in the treats and you'll be able to see all four of them. Now what we do have currently is actually pretty cool. Uh, as, is, as is still here, we can see we can use them in the cooker. So one is probably more so better for PvP. And I'll get that all technically too, but anyway. So, Dash Treat. Uh, consume the Dash Treat and transform into a Speed Demon. The world slows as your normal speed increases. Tempting to sprint uh, and you will erupt forwards, untouchable while dashing. Dismounting while active will deactivate the effect. Not too bad on resources. So this experimental baking powder and unstable sugar, I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, so yeah, 30, 36 major berries and 36 na uh, narco berries and one focal chili. Unlocks at 65 and 12 ingram points. Now I've got that currently as 10 seconds. It normally is 60 seconds, but I've just got it down that low just so I can get through this quickly. I don't think there's a way to lower the cooldown either. Uh, Ultra Leap Treat. Get uh, ready to leap higher than a behemoth gate. Oh, that's actually... I didn't realize we could actually jump that high. Uh, explore freely plus say goodbye to fall damage and conquer any terrain with... I don't know. D uh, dismounting will... Uh, with confidence. Um, yeah, dismounting will... Uh, the, yeah, dismounting will active, will deactivate this effect. Larger dinos cannot consume this treat. So, yes, yeah, some can consume a treat, and it is pretty funny. Uh, the cloak. So, for what I understand with this, um, so I can't actually show it, but essentially it will make you properly invisible. Uh, did I go to the Ultra Leap? No, anyway, it's there. Um, actually, wait, that's a... Gosh, that is a lot of... Uh, treats and sugars and stuff you need. Um, yeah, consuming this treat grants the power of vanish. Equipping weapons, dealing damage or, or taking damage will deactivate the cloak. Cannot be fed to dinosaurs, cannot uh, and cannot be well mounted. So this essentially does make you invisible but only to other players. I don't know if about other dinosaurs but I haven't test that one out yet. Um, I might put that in the description or something if that does make you invisible to dinosaurs, or I could probably go test it out in a minute. Actually, I'll go do that. Um, and then, yeah, shield aura. Consuming, uh, consume this treat to withstand all attacks and take no damage for a short period of time. If consumed while mounted on a dino, the aura protects both you and the dino. Now, this one... I think is probably one of the coolest one, but more so for boss fights. So, um, as yeah, the experimental baking powder, sort of cheap, but not too expensive. Um, on his attempt to discover all that he could about elemental uh, element, Rockwell discovers that grinding the element into a powder and mixing it with spark powder gave him a type of baking powder. It's so experimental though, and unstable sugar. Uh, duh, 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 same sort of thing, mixing it with any type of berry produced salt sugar. So, uh, we'll get in the show in a minute, but um, essentially the one I think you're going to be really using the most is going to be the Ultra Leap. 
Now it is ridiculous on how high you can jump, and I will show this. Um, actually, I'll show it with the Sabretooth. So you can, if there's uh, obviously feed this to them, and they jump really high, like that. And yes, I'm in creative mode at the moment, just so that I don't take any fall damage. But um, yeah, it, it works really, really well. It, it is awesome. And you can actually do it obviously on yourself as well. And then this one quick jump is really, really good. So obviously here on Scorch, to set, uh, especially, you know, pretty cool. Now obviously you can change how long, long you want them for. There is still that um, three minute cooldown, which is not bad, honestly. For what you get, I think personally, something like that, you'd probably want to have it for say maybe three minutes depending on it um, as is you take no full damage so as is in all reality it is actually pretty uh, what would you call it pretty balanced because obviously you still can take normal damage but you don't take full damage but then as is it's really good for getting around the map uh, the speed demon the dash tree so this one so every time you go to sprint click the, your sprint button it's uh dashes you forwards like this. Now I will show really funnily um, over here on the Oasisaur and, and this is where stuff gets kind of funny and stupidly powerful. So if you go and feed one of these to one of these so they turn purple really see what's actually part of the actual thing but you can slowly minus that you can literally just keep dashing until it runs out but yeah you could literally dash something like this around uh oh uh oh I just broke my oasis saw uh, <laughs> uh oh well that ain't good um yeah let's uh, let's just go away from that now so yeah as is dash treat cool I Unfortunately, you can't use two at the same time. Hopefully, that does get changed. Uh, shield, pretty basic sort of thing with the shield. Is, um, as we can still see here, gives you a blue aura. And, yeah, as is, it's like actually a proper shield. So, you won't take any damage. There's no use trying to show, show that. That does have a lot longer cooldown. And then the cloaking one does make you invisible like that but um actual players won't be able to see you so if you're on a i suppose if you're on a server with other people that could be fun for a bit of trolling depending on that you'd you'd sort of roughly work that one out on what you'd want to have that in terms of um uh, what do you call it um uh durability for it yeah, you could either have it for a short time to beat, so you can use it to make you set, like get out of the out of someone's base sort of thing. So obviously stuff like that it can be fun for that. So as is for in all reality, if you're not doing PvP, um, the the cloak one, you're not really gonna end up using. Unfortunately, I don't think. As is, I I, I should have tested it then on dinosaurs, but as I'll put it, I'll try and put that in the description or something of if that does work with dinosaurs, if they can see you or not. Um, and yeah, as is the the defense one, same sort of thing. Yeah, I suppose you could really use that for PV, um, not PvP, uh, boss fights, but personally, I think that is one that's really useful if you say have it for, um, I don't know, say for a minute. It's how I kind of see it is this should be for a minute at least. So obviously when your uh, last stand type thing, you can chuck that on. And if you don't, you know, if you still can't finish it off, whatever you're fighting off by the time that runs out, then it's like, yeah, you know, you're not going to win sort of thing. So that's why I, I will probably end up using that for is as a last stand sort of treat. Obviously, again, cool little item. Um, obviously, yes, they are quite expensive in one way because of the... Um, the what you call it, um, the element cost sort of thing, so that's one thing just to note. Um, what else? Well, actually, I think that's everything to go over about the treats. So, yeah, so what I think should be changed in the future, so if I understand for Rockwell in his lore, is 
when he got to extinction, no, uh, aberration, he unlocked newer things. So I kind of hope this gets updated with some more treats during aberration because I honestly think that would be really cool. Um, if that is the case, that would make this mod even better. But for about $3, you get four treats. You Again, if you're not playing PvP, you're probably not going to be using the cloak. I, again, I don't know if it does work on dinosaurs, although do we have... All right, we've got about 20 seconds left. I will go check this one out right now then. I'm going to quickly change this to 30 seconds. Go away from them. And then eat that. Now, um, bugs. Okay, that that actually is worth it then. Okay, I am invisible to everything then, pretty much. What about this snake? Oh damn. Okay, yeah, no, that that's actually yes, totally worth it. Wow. Okay, that that's phew. wow. Yeah, okay, that that's um that definitely does work. That is completely worth it now. So, yes, for $3, you essentially got three treats you're going to pro use a bit. Cloaking kind of now seems stupidly overpowered. You could go through caves and stuff if you had that fully on. So, um yeah, in terms of is it worth it buying? Yeah. I do think so, personally. I, I can find a lot of uses for that myself. Um, obviously, you're going to kind of be late-ish game, but if you if you farm out some uh, some uh, gamma bosses, then I think you'd be fine. So, in terms of that, you'll be easy for that. Obviously, when Extinction comes out, it'll be a lot easier than that. And, as again, Super Leap thing. The Leap and the Invisibility, I reckon, are most I'll probably end up using. Probably just more so the Jump. Um, as is obviously selfish situational for me personally I think I'll use the defense one for if I'm in a rough situation or the teleport one so sort of the uh, speed demon type thing I think I could use that uh, same sort of scenario in a, a in a bind sort of thing so yes in terms of usefulness definitely worth it um, and yeah as is just to sort of go over again as is, I'll be pretty much doing the occasional uh, premium mod review on stuff that I think is useful. As is for myself, if I'm going to use it. Because again, I'm not going to go buy and sort of review a mod that I'm not going to end up using sort of thing. Unless, as is, I get enough requests for it, then I probably will. Or, as in, if it's a cheap thing, and I, as is still, I think it's going to be useful. That's about the only things uh, that I'm going to essentially qualify it as, because I'm not... If it's new and I don't have no interest in it, no one else has recommended to have a look at it, I'm not going to look at it. Um, anyway, hope everyone has enjoyed. And um, I, I kind of probably could have been shorter, but um, yeah, I kind of want to get as much information as I could um, with it, as is overall pretty cool mod. And uh, yeah, I think I can have a bit of fun. And even better, they don't spoil. Even better. And I shall see everybody next time.